Good morning and thanks for joining us. We have an action-packed show for you today. Tristan Martinez gets some hands-on self-defense training and I get some work on my golf swing. But first, Catherine Dunn takes a tour of the Legoland Discovery Center in Grapevine and learns how they are building a fun experience for kids of all ages, one brick at a time. We all remember playing with Lego bricks when we were kids and here at Legoland Discovery Center, they take it to a whole new level. builder for Legoland Discovery Center. Now James, tell us exactly what you do. So my job is basically to come to work every day and play with Lego. I'm in charge of all the Lego here at Legoland Discovery Center. So that's upkeep, maintaining all of it, and even building brand new models when we need them. So it looks like we're standing right here in the heart of Dallas, Texas, but we're not. We're at Legoland Discovery Center. We're a little large <laughs> for this Dallas, Texas. Yes, this is our mini land display here at Legoland Discovery Center. It's so over a million and a half bricks built up. We have Dallas, Fort Worth, and even parts of Grapevine. Wow. So where do you get the inspiration for all the things that Legoland offers? We get inspiration a lot from our guests, actually. The kids will come in and build amazing things, and then we try to take those ideas and make them even more amazing. So what ages are welcome here? So Legoland Discovery Center is good for all ages, all kids. Okay, and I'm sure the parents love it, too. Parents love coming and being able to build with their kids. Parents can even go on the rides with their kids. Nice. How did you get yours to look so cool? So I'm a little older than 12, but can I have a tour of the facilities? Yeah, let's go check everything nice, out. Let's go. When you first come to Legoland Discovery Center, you're going to walk in through a factory tour of how to build actual Lego bricks. We have Professor bric a who tells you all about the process. Then you come in and you go to our Kingdom Quest ride, which is the first ride you'll come to. And it's a laser gun ride, and you go through and save our princess. All right, so this is our Merlin's Apprentice. So you can actually come over here, learn a little bit of magic, Merlin's magic, and ride up into the air on your magic bicycles. Fun! The faster you pedal, the higher up you'll go. Nice! So tell me about this attraction. So this is our Forest Ranger Pursuit Ride. Okay. The kids can actually become a Lego Forest Ranger, jump in their Lego police cars, and go catch the bad guys. Nice! Let's go catch the bad guys. All right. <laughs> So behind us here is our Pirate Beach Splash Pad. Kids can go through and build pirate forts covered in pirate treasure, and there's even some water cannons you can support your friends with. So I'm sure that some kids are wondering, do they have to be expert LEGO builders to Definitely build that Definitely not, no. We have so many building areas, you can get ideas off of other kids, or I've even been out on the floor every now and then to help build with kids as well. So I have my car, I took their tips, not too wide, not too heavy, so we're gonna see what happens. I'd say that was pretty good, right? So you have it all here. You even have a theater. Yes, this is our 4D theater. So we have three different 3D movies that you can watch here. But when you get inside, it actually turns into a 4D experience. Okay. Wind, rain, and snow effects added Wow. In. We actually just got two new movies this year. So we have our Lego movie 4D and our Nexo Nights movie, brand new for this year. Nice. Exclusive at Legoland Discovery Center. for showing me around today. Of course, Catherine. I hope you had fun. I did, and I'm going to pick out some Lego bricks so I can go make my own creations. All right, good luck. The Lego Land Discovery Center is open seven days a week and offers a variety of admission packages. To learn more and plan your visit, go to LegolandDiscoveryCenter.com. And another great attraction for families, parties, and even corporate events is Top Golf. I recently took a trip to the Allen location to find out how Top Golf is providing people with an experience that is well above par. Top Golf is for everyone, all ages, all levels. Anyone can, can pretty much play Top Golf. So there's a microchip in every ball, and when you shoot it into a target, it'll register and it'll show up on your screen and tell you what target it, you made it in and the yards and the points. We have a full service bar, we have a full kitchen, we do private events, we do DJs on the weekend, kid zone activities, leagues, tournaments, you name it. We're not your typical run-of-the-mill bar food. A lot of our product is produced in-house. We are almost a 90% scratch kitchen. And it's delicious too, because I've eaten the food before and I, I know when, when I had it the first time, I couldn't wait to come back. Thank you. What Thank are some you. of the best sellers? Up front here, we have our Mushi. Our Mushi is it's our in-house made chicken mix. 
Uh, it's smoked chicken, some cheeses. It's a creamy chicken mixture. And it has uh, cilantro uh, sticky rice on the inside. Rolled up and plated just like you would see sushi. And that's one of my favorites. Right? It's one <laughs> so of my favorites good. as well. <laughs> I'm joined now by Melissa Searles, the Director of Sales here at Top Golf, Allen. And Melissa, I know we're in a place that most people don't really know that Top Golf offers. Tell us about it. That is true. This is our signature event space. It's on the second floor here, so it is kind of tucked away. But that allows for privacy for groups that are having meetings or banquets or rehearsal dinners or things like that. And so you, they can have their meeting and then hit a few golf balls yes, at the same time. That is, yes, <laughs> that's what's done. fun. So these doors actually slide right open. So once the meeting's done, it makes it really easy to just step out into the base and play some golf afterwards. Uh, guests can come in and have a lesson at any time. They can show up, grab a lesson with myself or my lead instructor. They can book online in advance. You can be a beginner to a better player and anything in between. And you guys are all eligible for lessons. Would you like a lesson right now? I would love it. That'd be great. Cool. Do what I think is right. Yes, and please. How's yep. that? Uh, that's uh, not bad. So I'm going to ask you to stand just a, an inch further away from it. Okay. And then bend your knees a little bit more. Okay. A little bit more of an athletic position. Okay. There you go. And then tilt more over at the waist. That looks pretty good right there. Swing away. See what happens. Okay. There you go. Not bad. How yeah. many points is that one? That's about 10 points in the green target, so okay. that's a pretty good swing there. I'll take it for my first try. Yeah, good job. Or fifth try. Or fifth try. <laughs> From leagues to tournaments to kids' camps, Top Golf has something for everyone. To get more information and find a location near you, go to topgolf.com. Time for our first break, but when we return, you'll meet Simba on this week's edition of Pet Tales. Today with Candace is brought to you by Weir's Furniture, your life styled. Patients often ask me how they can prevent their skin from aging. No one likes wrinkles, no one likes to look older. Um, I generally tell them this, pick your parents differently next time. <laughs> because in general, the way your skin is going to age is genetic in large part. However, there are some things that you can do bad and good for your skin. The sun is one of them. The more sun you get, the more leathery and wrinkly your skin is going to be, especially if you get sunburns. Uh, so, avoiding sun exposure using sunscreens. Keeping your skin moisturized is a good idea. Uh, you don't have to get any fancy, expensive moisturizers and these sort of things that are sold on the internet. Any, any type of uh, cheap and convenient over-the-counter moisturizer is going to help you. Um, exercise reduces uh, aging skin. You can get microdermabrasion and all kinds of procedures to make your skin look better as you grow older, but in general you're going to have to get those done over and over. So, you can't pick your parents any differently, uh, or maybe you can next time, who knows, but at least you can uh, avoid excessive sun exposure, keep your skin moisturized, and stay fit and eat right. Your skin will look a lot better as you get old. In an emergency, your most important need is time. Time saved in the hands of highly trained doctors and experienced emergency nurses. Time saved with advanced imaging and diagnostics to help find a solution quickly. No matter what hour or day, we are here for you. Because when your life is on the line, what matters most is time. Texas General Hospital, we care. Sweetheart, think about your future. Jeff over there did and just look at him. He saved up, bought a house, He's got a beautiful wife. They even had a fancy pants destination wedding and oh, oh, they had a baby. Ah! Smart and handsome. Ooh, la la. Ah. Now I've been saving these frames for pictures of my future grandbabies for years. And the shopping sprees on organic clothing and eye telephone cases is not helping you save for a family. Oh, gracious. Look at that! He's a model! <gasps> I bet you he's putting all that money right into a 401k or his baby's college fund. And his teeth are so straight. See how good saving can look at feedthepig.org. Feed the pig. I'm
I'm joined now by Victoria from the SPCA of Texas, who has another adorable little friend with her today. Hi, Victoria. Hi, how are you? Good, how are you? I'm fantastic. Good, who do you have with you? Meet Simba. Simba is basically, he's a 10 week old, two pound little kitten. That oh, somebody. Yes, he's very talkative today. Yes, that somebody had found and just couldn't keep, so they brought him over to our SPCA of Texas shelter. And uh, he's been with us since, and uh, now he's getting ready to look for his forever home. And he is, so he is a little fluffy friend, and he's, he's active and living up to his name for sure, isn't <laughs> yes, he? Yes, <laughs> for sure. Yes. He is so fun. How big do you think he'll get? Maybe about eight to ten pounds. Okay. You know, he's going to be up to date on all of his vaccinations. He's going to be neutered. Okay. And uh, basically, um, you can come on in and, and meet him. Is there any difference um, when you come in to adopt a cat versus adopting a dog? No, nope, just be 18 years of age or older and bring a valid driver's license and we'll get you set up. Okay, and do I understand correctly that he's been a part of your um, I Foster program? Yes, actually, Simba was part of our I Foster program. He um, actually went home with one of our volunteers for some time, which was really awesome because when you have a foster pet, it helps freeze up space in our shelter. So that allows more pets to come on in. So we are currently looking for fosters. So if you're interested in fostering with the SPCA of Texas, it's a great and rewarding thing that you can do and volunteer to do. Um, visit spca.org slash volunteer. Okay. Um, or you can do spca.org slash foster. And it gives you all the information. Everything is perfectly taken care of for you. So there's all the no, supplies, all the supplies, everything. there's no cost out of pocket to our fosters. That's so great. And just having that experience, knowing that you're helping, and maybe, you know, getting that opportunity to see if you might want to adopt a pet as well. Exactly. And you can do it for any any amount of time. So if you want to become a foster for a couple of weeks, you can. If you want to do it longer, that's perfectly fine too. And then our um, foster manager will come in and you can talk to them and kind of pick out the pet that's going to work best for you in, in the program. Oh, that's wonderful. And where can our viewers find this sweet little Zimba? Simba will be available at spca.org and just go to adopt your pet, adopt a pet. Okay, wonderful. We'll be sure to check out that iFoster program and this cutie right here because he needs a good home. Thanks so much, Victoria. Thank you. We'll see you next time. Remember, if you'd like to learn more about Simba or any of the other furry friends that need a good home, visit spca.org. And you can always see this and all the other pet tail videos on our website, todaywithcandace.com. While no one likes to think it will happen to them, each year over half a million women are victims of a violent assault. Chamberlain Studios of Self-Defense in Dallas is helping to protect women by offering free self-defense workshops that teach women techniques to avoid dangerous situations and fend off assailants. Tristan Martinez participated in their latest class and brings us this report. I'm here with Dr. Nick Chamberlain, Chamberlain Studios of Self-Defense. Now, I've never taken a class like this and I learned so much from it. So what inspired you to start teaching this class? The inspiration for teaching these classes is the neighborhood that we're teaching in. We have schools around Dallas and we try and give back to the communities that we serve. So we have a lot of families that want to have a little bit more security and the style of martial arts that we teach really fits well with that. So we four, three, four times a year go out to the communities and run these free self-defense programs. We've been uh, reaching out to the community for almost 40 years now, starting up in uh, New England and then for the last 25 years here in Dallas. I think everyone should have a basic understanding of self-defense. They should understand the risks associated with being out on their own and out late at night and they need to have a good sense of awareness of their situations and their surroundings. If people took that into better account, that would keep them much, much safer. 95% of their safety is based on their surroundings and what's going on, not on making them a great fighter. Again, most important rule of self-defense is don't be there. So stay out of the parking lot, stay out of the late night event, don't be somewhere at 5 o'clock in the morning washing your car, stay out of those situations. If you have to be out there on your own, again, try and take someone with you so that you're not on your own. It's been very helpful. I've learned a lot of things that I hadn't thought about. Um, I do feel better prepared. I just hope that I never have to use the training, but if I do, I feel like this class has been really helpful.
I absolutely would recommend this to someone. Um, it's it's got the humor and the seriousness on a good level, and the being able to do it yourself with all these other instructors is fantastic. If you'd like to learn more about Chamberlain Studios of Self-Defense and their free workshops, visit their website at dallaskinpo.com. The entire team here today with Candace realizes we wouldn't be able to do this show without you, our viewers, and we want to thank you for it personally. Now through August 26, you can enter for your chance to come to the studio and meet the cast and crew. All you have to do is go to our website at todaywithcandace.com and send us an email with take me to the show in the message. We'll put your name in a drawing and on Monday, August 29th, we'll announce the winner on our Facebook page. Enter now for your chance to come to the studio for a taping, meet the cast, and have lunch with everyone from Today with Candace. Good luck! Break time again, but when we return, we'll get a look at the newest paint and sip studio. Plus, Catherine Dunn learns how to make a pizza the Campisi's way. Stay with us! This segment of Today with Candace has been brought to you by the Best of Guide. Oh, look, a redhead. <gasps> Staring contest. You still got it. I know. Come alive with the forest. The dad was cute. You were looking right at us. Visit discovertheforest.org to find a forest near you. How can I help my daughter with her reading? Searching for help with dachshund reading. No. <laughs> Let me try. Sarah's bright, but when she's reading, she has trouble sounding out words. Playing world music. What? I give up. Wait, I was trying to show you how Sarah feels every day. Frustrating, isn't it? Redirecting to understood.org. Join parents and experts at understood.org, a free online resource about learning and attention issues to help your child thrive. Welcome back. Paint and sip classes have been growing in popularity all over the country, and Pinot's Palette offers one of the best experiences you can find. We visited their newest location in Garland to see how a little wine and a lot of paint combine to create the perfect picture of a night out. Here at Pinot's Palette Garland, we want people to paint, drink, and have fun. Paint and sip, it's still kind of a new category or industry. We literally just come to the store and we provide everything that you need in terms of all the art supplies. We provide wine glasses for whatever your drink of choice is. We provide plates, napkins, utensils if you want to bring any food. And so we just try to make it a really convenient, easy way for you to come in, relax, and then for us to teach you a two or three hour painting class. Friendship, bonding, hanging out events, I mean especially for a group of women, instead of just going to a movie or going to a dinner or going to a bar, you come and you're actually doing something with your hands and you're creating things and just conversations start. I've never painted before, never even touched a canvas, so when hearing about Pinot's palette I got really excited, just the whole step-by-step -step aspect of it and being able to drink wine while painting, that's very enticing. I've never painted before. I've done some drawing on the back of paper in junior high and high school, so I think my art experience is uh, pretty solid. I may be um, 
to the next Picasso, you just never know. The most rewarding part of it by the end of the night is seeing the love of art come out in people. It's like that excitement that a child gets opening a Christmas present. I think that's always exciting in doing something that you haven't tried before. Not only would it make a cute picture on Instagram, but it's just making a memory with one of your great friends. I mean, how often do you, do you actually get to go somewhere and try something new and enjoy a full night of it? It's really neat because everybody gets to paint to their own ability. If you're an artist, you're professional, literally down to never taking an art class, which is like me, you can still end up at the end of the night with potentially a masterpiece. I'm actually really impressed with myself. I didn't think that it would turn out this well. And it was really nice because looking at everybody else's, everybody's turned out a little bit different. But they're all really good. And I think the wine helped. Made it really enjoyable. I was very surprised how well it came out. Um, and it was just a lot of fun having people next to us to talk to you to enjoy painting it with. You meet so many different people that you didn't come in here knowing. And it's not like about comparing paintings, but it was about sharing stories and sharing the experience. Pino's Palette Garland is also open during the day for parties, private events, and more. To see the calendar of upcoming classes and to make your reservation, visit pinospalette.com slash garland. If you're ready for a good meal after you paint your masterpiece, why not head to Campisi's, who've been serving Italian food that's a work of art in its own right for over 70 years. Catherine Dunn has more. I'm here with David Campisi, CEO of the legendary Campisi Restaurants. Now, David, this is a big year for Campisi's. Tell me about it. Absolutely. Well, we introduced pizzas in 1946, so every year is pretty big for us. But my great-grandfather and grandmother came here from the 1900s, and we're still practicing the same principles that we did when they came here. It's all about handshakes and hellos and treating our uh, customers as guests as we would in our home. So, uh, big year. We just opened up Plano. Uh, was our 10th location. Our newest location will be in Lubbock, Texas, uh, number 11. Great, so tell me a little bit about how the restaurant has evolved since you opened way back when. Well, it's evolved and, uh, you know, we've got about 400 employees, but we've stuck with the same purveyors, same recipes. Uh, we went standardized recipes and then we went back to our original recipe. So everything's kind of the same. If it ain't broken, don't fix it mentality. Uh, so organically, it's just kind of taken off. And speaking of those recipes, now without divulging any of the family secrets, tell me a little bit about how this pizza is different from maybe another pizza joint. Well, there's nothing like this. Uh, we always say we're the originator, not the duplicator, but uh, everything is handmade, homemade here at Campisi's. We have uh, fresh ingredients that come in daily. We make homemade dough every day, homemade sausage every day, so everything is handmade. So tell me about your most popular item on the menu. Well, to me, they're all pretty popular, but what really put us on the map was our all away pizza. That's our sausage, salami, mushroom, onions, green pepper. Would you like to come back in the kitchen? I make sure one? would. All right, here we go. We've got a little corn mill. We've got our dough set up. Okay. We're going to take our wheel here, dock it, use our fresh marinara sauce. Now don't get it on the side or otherwise it'll stick, okay? How's this? Very good. <laughs> You're a little slow, but it's good. <laughs> Fresh uh, provolone cheese, spread it evenly throughout. Are you going to hire me to be a chef after this? Absolutely not. <laughs> How about a little Italian sausage on there? Okay. A little uh, salami. Some green onions right there. Green peppers. Here you go, cremini mushrooms. Okay. We'll put a little dash of uh, oregano, and there it is. All the way pizza. This has got to be one of the prettiest pizzas I've ever seen come out of the oven. Oh, you're just saying that. No, oh, honestly, you had a great teacher today. I did. Thank you so much for having us oh, today. Thank you. My pleasure. Thank you. Please come back and see us. We will. Thank you. To learn more about Campisi's and to find a location near you, go to their website at campisi's.us. Time for our last break on the show, but when we return, we'll visit a men's clothing store that takes customer service to a whole new level. Stay with us. If your business falls into one of our theme categories of home, health and beauty, or leisure, and you'd like to be promoted on our show, drop us a line at info at todaywithcandice.com. Did you know kids who play outdoors have healthier lungs? Totally. I did. Did you know that boys that play with dolls make better husbands? My son has lots of dolls. But did you know terry cloth diapers breathe better? I did. Mm -hmm. It's totally true. Oh, yeah, yeah. Did you know that strollers have the right of way on the sidewalk? Yes. Yep, I did. Did you guys Did know? you know that kids who eat breakfast have higher GPAs? Yeah, I know. Okay. Yeah. That's actually what I was going to say. Did you know babies should never touch silver? It's really bad for them. I knew that. 
Did you guys know that statistically friendly kids have more friends? Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's obvious. Did you know most people think they're using the right car seat for their kid, but they're not? Parents who really know it all know for sure that their child is in the right seat at the right age and size. Visit safercar.gov slash the right seat to make sure your child is protected. I'm putting that on my blog. I just put it in mine. Hi, I'm Jim Knox, and a lot of people have asked me, hey, what do you do away from the ballpark? Well, I am co-founder of a company called Identity Media Services. Our Emmy award-winning production team can brand your company with videos, commercials, radio, and television, and our digital performance program specializes in lead generation, websites, and reputation management. So if your business needs a lift, give me a call, because as you know, it is tough to stay on top. Whew, that's gotta hurt. Today with Candace has been brought to you by Weir's Furniture, your life styled. Welcome back. There are several stores around that sell fine men's clothing, but none like Edward Bauman Clothiers. They are so focused on each customer's needs that they're open by appointment only. Here's Katherine Dunn with more. When you see a fully stocked bar and widescreen TVs, you don't exactly think clothing store. but. Edward Bauman's is not your typical clothing store. According to its founder, Bob Bauman, it's not even about selling clothes. It's about changing lives. When you're dressed nice, when you look nice, people notice you. Edward Bauman Clothiers has been in business for 25 years. We try and um, take the concept of dressing men different than uh, people have ever seen it before. When you come in here, we really have nothing to sell you. Everything is custom made. So we sit down with our clients and in collaboration together, we design the perfect outfit for you, how it's going to be made, and we do everything from what kind of lapel it's going to have, the height of the collar on the shirt, how many buttons on the sleeve. Most of our clothes, 80% of everything we sell is custom made. Uh, it's all made in the United States of America. We're very proud of that. It's the finest quality and um, we actually will make a man look better than he's ever looked before in his life. We have a showroom here in Addison, Texas. Our clients come in here, we sit down and we interview them for 15 minutes or so and then we take them into one of our private showrooms and we basically show them how we think they should dress for their position, the position have, or more importantly for the position they want because that's how you should dress. And so together we design the perfect outfit then we have it made and you come back in and we put it on you and it's, we make it fit better than anything you've ever worn. Our customer is really just anybody who um, understands the importance of looking your very best and they want to do it. It's funny because we have, a, yes, we have a lot of CEOs, a lot of presidents of companies. We have our attorneys, our doctors, our CPAs, but we also have a lot of guys in construction. You know, guys that uh, they may want a nice pair of blue jeans. Um, we make custom made cowboy boots and they wear a pair of blue jeans, cowboy boots, and a great dress shirt to the office. There's never a 36 hour of my life that I don't get a text, a phone call, or an email of somebody telling me about an experience they've had and how wonderful it was, and it was because of the new outfit they had on. If you'd like to find out more about Edward Bauman's and to schedule your appointment, go to edwardbauman.com. Well, that's our show for today. I hope you've enjoyed it. Remember, if it deals with your home, your health and beauty, or how to spend your leisure time in DFW, then we'll be talking about it. Check us out at todaywithcandice.com and follow us on social media. We'll be here every weekday morning at 8.30, but if you can't join us, then be sure to set your DVR. See you next time. Wardrobe for today with Candace provided by Dillard's, the style of your life.